internet enabled. Well, we're not going to be using those capabilities yet because we are going to be playing on the survival single player world. Last time, we did some uh, remodeling of the main base. We now have... Ah, shit. I guess that really doesn't make any more any sense anymore. To have that like that. We should do something about that. <laughs> uh, last time we remodeled, we added a bunch of stuff. Uh, the main reasoning for this was just because it's like... I don't want these guys to die. This is this is very important to me. I don't want these guys to die. If they die, it's fucked. Everything's fucked. I also don't want more than like four villagers that I have to rely on. You know, I just want like I want like one librarian and like a butcher, a cleric, and fucking I don't know, a mason. Or something to that effect. Just a couple villagers that I can trade with and get things that I need, that I want. So, for instance, the Butcher, the Cleric, and the Mason will literally all be for... ...getting emeralds, and the Librarian is just for the Mending Books. We've got some some things here. We've got respiration three. We've got some good uh, some good fucking enchantments. So all we really need, all we really need, is fucking diamonds, bro. We need diamonds, and with those diamonds, we can make armor that's good. Right now, we're just, like, lacking. We're lacking in the diamond department. We've got this fortune pick. Fortune 3. Efficiency 4. It's good. But we don't have any fucking... Diamonds. We haven't found any. How do you make a, uh, a shield? Oh, it's a lot of wood. It's a lot of wood. It's six pieces of wood and one iron. I thought it was more iron. Alright. I decided to make a shield just for the sake of having a shield. It's cheap, I guess. And since we are playing on hard mode, I figured... Well, it might just be nice to have one. Ah, Minecraft. Spoon! Alright, let's get some some cobblestone here I just want to like take that down I don't want to like I, I want to replace it with like something easily accessible on the ground uh, do I have buckets probably somewhere Alright, there we go. Hmm. 
Anything drop over on this side? Yeah, there we go. So, I don't know. What what should I... How should I make something easily accessible? I guess the easiest way to do it... Oh, fuck. That's why we got this shield. Boom. Got him. Easy. Uh, I guess the easiest way to do this would be to have something like right here. I'll just dig out a nice little square. It's like so many blocks tall. Maybe so many blocks wide. Oh hey, that comes around up here. Perfect. Make it real easy on me. Alright. Here, let's do this, 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 this. Let's do that. Uh, that's fine. Do that there. That there. that and then I can't remember if it actually needs to be dripstone there or not regardless just put that there is it here chicken Bro, what is that area? Where does that go? I need to get rid of that. Here. I need to light that up. I need coal. I need fucking torches. So much bullshit I gotta deal with. Let's sleep real quick, because it's late. Alright. Plenty of nether bricks. It's almost done, in fact. What else have we? Let's see here. Some coal. Oh, I don't need seven. I need, like, two. Seven is for a full stack, and I do not need a full stack. Alright, now I need sticks. Make these fucking torches. Let's just get rid of all of this fucking excess bullshit. It's just too much of it, you know? There's too many different kinds of rocks now. Just fucking... It's just bullshit. It's all bullshit. Put the fucking wood in there. Alright. Let's make some more armor, I guess. Eh, no, we should be fine. We should be fine. Eh, I'll make a chest plate. That's what I'll do. I'll make an iron chest plate. Hello? There we go. Grrr. I am a zombie. Alright. Let's click in. Go light this bitch up. Idiot. I sure showed him. <laughs> the fuck is it? There's just lava down here? You fucking kidding me?
Oh, you know what? I haven't checked the uh, updates for Mini HUD and uh, Item Scroller yet. I wonder if those have been updated to like fully work with the release version. Spidey's. Spooky. Yo! No! There's no way. I refuse. Oh my god. There was an amethyst cluster right under my nose this whole time. I didn't even know they emitted light. That's super cool. Oh my god, and because I'm so close to it, all of these are like fully grown. God damn it. Here, let's... This is probably what I'll be using for Amethyst. This cluster, because it's just so fucking close. It is, like, right here. Let's clear out all of the, uh, non-budding. And let's also harvest all of the calcite and smooth basalt. So does it just, like, play a random note on the, uh... Like, just a random note? <laughs> it's, it's hard to tell. Oh my god, we have so much amethyst. Oh, there's a budding right there. Let's get rid of that then. Apparently the budding amethyst have a slightly longer break time than the normal amethyst. Uh, to prevent accidentally instant mining it. Which is nice. You get a chilly reception everywhere you go. This is cool as fuck. I love this. Ah. I am actually kind of curious as to how like it plays the different parts yo if you put a note block over amethyst does it make the amethyst sound oh my god and can you like tune it that'd be cool as fuck
Sorry, I'm trying my best to focus right now so I don't accidentally fucking break the budding amethyst. I know it's, like, really simple, easy to see which ones are budding and which ones aren't, but... <clears throat> Listen, you'll, you, you'd, you'd understand, alright? You gotta understand. Multitasking. You know, you're dividing your attention between multiple tasks, and ultimately, the quality of those tasks degrade. The more tasks you have... <coughs> Like clearing your throat, for example. Of all the cum from the cocks you sucked. Or drowning out the screams in your head. Smile. <laughs> God, there's so much fucking amethyst. I'd rather be at an excess than a deficit, so I am fine with this, but. Like, where am I going to put this? No. The fucking, get the fuck out of my fucking room. Get out of my room, mom. I'm playing Minecraft. So, something like this is the optimal, almost optimal formation for Amethyst. Ideally, it would be, these would be two apart. Right? So that one could grow on each side of this. Uh. And then there would be one on each side of this. It's similar to this, basically. But not quite this. Regardless, this is still pretty good. There's a lot. There's a lot of budding amethyst. I think I remember someone saying, like, it's only a matter of time before someone finds the seed of an entire geo just filled with budding amethyst and nothing else. Reminds me of that, uh, recently there was a seed that was found where someone found, like, a vein of, like, I can't even remember how many diamonds it was. I think it was, like, 50. 50 diamonds in a single, like, vein. Oh, the torch went out. Did I just make like a fucking Enderman sound? <laughs> what the fuck was that? That's, that's more than enough. That's, like, more amethyst than I will ever need in my entire life.
if I really do need more, I'll have plenty more in the form of this budding amethyst. Until then, let's fucking get as much of this calcite as we can get. And then dip. I actually really like the look of the calcite. No word of a lie. a very nice like marbly look to it <clears throat> personally I like it better than the uh, diorite because I think the diorite doesn't it doesn't look clean enough you know it, it still has that really rocky texture even the smooth diorite string because we have plenty of that. Let's pick up everything left over and get the fuck out of here. I should probably also eat. <laughs> Alright. Nice. Let's light this bitch up. We don't have to deal with uh, mobs, you know, spawning. Doing things that we don't want them to do. Spider in the cave. What will he do? We still need to find, like, a spawner and make a proper XP farm. If we can find one that's, like, really close, we could actually probably even treat it like a mob switch. Wow, this goes pretty low. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. That's all we got. Now we need to find a way out. I'm going to use the F3 menu to get myself a little bit closer to what I think should be the exit. Maybe. How low am I? 32? It's not that low. I could probably just dig my way out if I really need to. David, what can I do away from me in the hallway? God, that just Teen Dang Wildlife has been stuck in my head for the past, like, day. 
and I just don't know what to do. It's fucking water. All the way up here. It's bullshit. Get the fuck out. Alright, let's just start heading up. I see skylight. That's good. I feel a breeze. Fuck off. Back spawn. Alright, where the fuck are we going? I see light? That's lava. Go away. Ow. Fuck off. <laughs> Alright, there we are. I figured it would probably be close. So if I had just went down there earlier, I would have found my fucking amethyst cluster basically right below my house. That is frustrating. Whew. Woo, lad. Alright. Look at all that block of amethyst. Look at all this amethyst shard. Hoggers. Alright, we have calcite out the ass now. And what's the other one? Smooth basalt. Nice. Well, now we have to actually go look for fucking diamonds. Somewhere. Oh, right. Need more, uh, I need more torches. Fucking fucking bullshit. Motherfucking. Always need goddamn sticks. Always need torches. Always need this, that, and the other. Hasn't grown yet. It's probably gonna take a long time, but who knows? Alright. Let's keep going. Let's go this way. Oh my goodness, I have the hiccups. Because I need to drink more water, apparently. Actually, what causes hiccups? What causes hiccups? Involuntary contractions of your diaphragm. Uh. Feeling nervous or excited? Drinking carbonated beverages. Oh. Some experts think that holding your breath or breathing into a paper bag might do the trick.
I think being told that it, I might have to start up drinking carbonated beverages scared my hiccups away. Because I think they just went away. Oh, hey. Alright. Ooh, it's like a little bit of diamond. 19! Oh my god, that's so good. Let's go, gamers. Also, let's grab this redstone just for the XP. Wow, that was really close to lava. Lapis? Some gold. Yo! Luckiest fucking gamer? 31, let's go, dude. That's enough for a full set. I think 42 is the amount you need for a full set of armor and tools, including the hoe and the shovel. Let's put down that. And that's, that's like all we need. That's fucking, we're good to go. I am so glad I got Fortune 3 on this. Yo, deep slate diamond or deep slate coal. It's funny because eventually... The fact of the matter is, Deep Slate Diamond is going to be more common than actual diamond. Because there's going to be more Y levels where Deep Slate Diamond can generate than where normal diamond can generate. At least with the way that I've read how they're changing diamond generation, that seems to be the way it's going to work. Deep Slate Coal. The reason I really need an XP farm is just so that I can have a place to repair my mending tools and armor, eventually. Uh, so that I don't have to fucking, like, deal with the fact that I just don't get XP anywhere. Normally. All right, well, let's make some fucking armor. Helmet. Boot. Pant. Plate. Easy. Let's put the rest of the diamonds back. Got a lot of stuff out of that, too. Let's cook it up. Gold, iron. All right. Let's take a look at our enchantments here. Protection three, that's okay. Unbreaking three, that's ideal. Protection three, okay. Unbreaking three, nice. Okay, so we've got some good level 30 enchantments. Protection is what we want to see. Base protection. Um, on hard mode, it might not be a terrible idea to get one piece of fire protection, uh, armor, or blast protection. In fact, what I'm probably going to end up doing is, for the sake of, uh, certain enemies, I might get a piece of blast protection armor.
or not a piece, but like two pieces of blast protection armor and two pieces of like fire protection armor. However, that's like really late game stuff. So worrying about that too much is not probably not worthwhile. That's a lot of cows and a lot of chickens. Look at all those chickens. All right, first let's go ahead and breed everything. I'm just holding right click and waving my mouse around. Pretty good. We also need to breed the sheep. Something I didn't really think about. So that we can sell mutton. this, grab this. Pop. Pop. Easy. We should also probably shear the sheep. Something I didn't realize is that it's also entirely possible that these sheep just eat all of the grass in the case that I don't like, like in case I didn't put grass around this area, they totally could have just ate everything because of the fact that there's just so much fucking sheep. So this is all done. Let's go ahead and take everything out. Turn most of it into nether bricks. And I guess I can just break these for XP. everywhere. Wow, a stack each. Perfectly. Alright. Well, now let's go ta uh, trade paper to the boy in town. 
And some stone to the stonemason. Do we have any other excess paper? We do. We do. On top of stone to the stonemason, we might want to bring clay. Clay is good. We don't have that much stone. Huh. I guess I turned it all into stone bricks. Well, shit. I guess we need to go grab some clay then. I mean, there is a swamp, like, literally right next to the town. We can just go do that easy enough. Get on down to the bayou. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck are you, jobless cock? This guy keeps opening and closing his door. Like it'll stop me. Let's get this shit going. That's a good little bit. Let's get some more. Let's just make it so we don't have to collect more next time we come around. That should be fine. Dude, I feel like Minecraft Steve should have, like, several eye infections. After swimming with his eyes open in this stagnant water. Dude, I remember when I was a cool... When I was a cool... When I was a kid swimming in the pool. Like, at the fucking community center or... Or the community pool or whatever the fuck. Community center, like playing fucking Stardew. I, I would fucking... Uh, I, I would fucking, like, hold my eyes open underwater even if I didn't have, like, the fucking goggles. And I would do that so often that eventually I just got, like immune to the fucking, like, bleach chlorine water. And I could hold my eyes open underwater, and, I mean, it would be, like, be, like, painful, you know, but not as painful. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm blind now. <laughs> All right. It's uh, some good clay. Good clay. We're also three levels off of being able to enchant something properly. Hmm. I do kind of want to breed some sheep. Do I have bones? I do have bones. I 
should have some more bone meal just around. Or just bones. Them bones. No? Okay. Doesn't want a bone. Oh, I missed a plot, I guess. Have children fuel my farm. I guess I should take those out and put those in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start waiting for these chickens to take entity cramming damage and, like, die. And when they start doing that, then I know it's time to slaughter. Which looks like it might happen soon. all the time. Bigs they are. There's a lot of them. Alright. Let's throw those in there. Throw that, that, that. Let's go sort out all of our bullshit. Cobble, andesite, diorite, granite, dirt. Oh yeah, we have emeralds, I guess. We have quite a bit of emeralds. Uh, let's go ahead and get some mending books, I suppose, for... stuff and things. And by stuff and things, I mean for the armor that we're going to make. Cool. We had enough. This guy should level up. Now we can trade four books for an emerald. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Considering we have a pretty available source of leather. Makes it all worthwhile. Usually you either want the paper one or the four books for leather or for an emerald. Uh, if you do have a lot of leather, then the four books is better because that only requires 12 paper. And obviously, books are a hell of a lot easier to trade than paper because paper just takes up so much fucking inventory space. All right. Well, I guess we can go to the nether real quick. Break my fucking legs real quick. 
Uh, alright. Let's see about collecting some things. Specifically, I wanted to get some quartz. Quartz. There's the quartz. Free these guys from their fucking prison. Of one by one living spaces. Unfortunately, our nether portal kind of came out really low to the floor of the nether. Where the portal comes out, basically, is entirely determined by, well, first of all, by the, the way nether portals work, and secondly, by the uh, terrain generation of the nether itself. guy is an enchanted crossbow. I do not want to fuck with that. This is just one of the best ways to get XP in this game. Smelting cobblestone might be more consistent, but this is like more immediate, you know? This is like, I want XP now. Give me my experience. My hunger. I hunger. Run, coward. Ow, oh, fuck. It's gonna break that glowstone. Or not. Alright, just despawn right in front of me, I guess. Fucking dick. Oh yeah, those guys are gonna be upset that I... Took their gold, aren't they? They're gonna be like, Rrr. Rrr. Uh. and we'll be like, no, I didn't, I didn't do it, I swear. I'll be like, Rrr. So I think helmet or boots, given that they both have, or not boots, what is it? The other one that has unbreaking, the leggings. Unbreaking three is more important than getting protection specifically. So let's see if we can get protection three, unbreaking three. Nice. And now we can combine the protection three with the protection three, get protection four. Protection 4 with Mending, get Mending, and boom. We now have a Mending Protection 4 Helmet with Unbreaking 3. Uh, unfortunately, Helmet requires a lot of different enchantments. Didn't we have? Yeah, we have Respiration 3. So... Like, we need a respiration, we need aqua affinity, we need fucking... Bunch of other shit. 
but boots require even more. So uh, I'm hoping that when I do the diamond chest plate and the diamond la diamond leggings, rather, that those will give me just the basic unbreaking protection, uh, and that I don't have to deal with a bunch of bullshit like you would normally have to. I need to make a separate, like, section just for nether bullshit because there's so much shit you just get in the nether that I just don't need. <sighs> Very annoying. David, what can I do? Baby? Come in my way. Don't ask me, I don't know any hallways. Oh yeah, a friend of mine posted this, uh, screenshot of their Binding of Isaac thing. For those who don't know how mapping works in the Binding of Isaac, this may not be as interesting, but... I thought this was really funny. So he's in the secret room, not the super secret room. Fuck, fucking who knows where the super secret room is. Actually, I, it's probably in the bottom right. I'm assuming the starting room is the room next to the self-sacrifice room. With the, the thing in the bottom, the, the, the item room. Oh no, the super secret is probably in the right middle then. Because that would be the farthest away. My thoughts exactly. Okay, let's just throw the iron helmet in there. So it takes, on average, about 20 minutes for uh, baby animals to grow into fully adult animals. And I think that they have to be in loaded chunks, maybe? I don't know how it works exactly. I'm assuming they have to be in loaded chunks. Point being, I'm just going to kind of hang out here, do things and stuff. It might be a good idea to just have, like, a thing set up here for the composter, so I could just, like, dump all of my excess bullshit. Like... What I was thinking is, put composter here, chest here, right, and then have the composter feed into the chest, because it can do that, and then have a chest on top. Where I could just put in shit. Maybe not even a chest. Just having a hopper on top would be fine. 
hop on top. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll make two hoppers. Can I do that? So it doesn't look trash. No. Guess we're looking trash, boys. Let's go. So over time, that'll just make things... Tags. We should have name tags, right? I feel like that's something I would put in a valuables chest. Or maybe not. Oh, you know what we should do? We should get started on trading with the, uh, the boys. So that we can get soul speed. Bring a, a stack of gold. Nice. Stack of gold into the nether. Break my legs real quick. Let's trap a boy in a pit. Despair. Uh, baby piglins don't trade, do they? Do they? I think they do, but I think they have a tendency to also, like, just hold the first piece of gold that they get and not actually trade it, or something like that. Something stupid. I like that the striders just sit on each other. Yeah, let's get some wood. Let's make a pen. Let's participate in some questionably ethical things. Actually, do piglins breed? Do baby piglins grow up? Is that a thing? I've never seen it. <laughs> to you too, my friend. You know, it's weird to think that they're, like, advanced enough technologically to have, like, civilizations, to have... fucking... They wear clothes, you know. Don't do it. I warned you. And yet, they haven't really... See, they don't really seem to have developed, like, speech. Like, when you think about... Like, the prioritization of evolution within the community. There you are. Here. Come on. Get the gold, boy. Get the gold. Alright, there you go. 
Have fun tossing me shit for the next half hour. Hey, we got crying obsidian. And while he's doing that, let's... make a proper, like, area for this. Spectral arrows, nice. Fire charges, also welcome. I just don't want them, like, getting out. I guess it's fine if they get in. It's just they can't get out. Yeah, let's pick up everything real quick. Because if they get out, then that's a problem for us. Spectral arrow, soul sand, crying obsidian, regular obsidian, fire charge, string. Are they giving me sticks? Fuck these guys, dude. Alright, let's see if we can lead some more in here. Bro! Oh, right. Opening a chest near them. Aggros. Heh. <laughs> Forgot about that. I guess I have to move this then. Uh... Or, if I'm gonna do this, then I have to... Huh. You know, that's one of the weirdest things, that opening a chest aggros them. I guess I have to, like, make a hut. So they don't have LOS while I do that. I guess I could just have it, like, over here. Here, let's actually turn all of this into chests. What are the items we can get? It's... God, there's a lot. Okay. Said, David, what can I do? They wait for me in the hallway. Here, let's grab some of that blackstone. Let's make a fucking thing. Let's 
stone hoe. I'm going to clear out this area just so it's a little more visible from the nether portal. Also, this stuff makes for great compost. Like, it's almost as good as moss blocks, except you can't get it nearly as easily. <laughs> or you can't, like, recreate it nearly as easily. You know, with boss block, you just bone meal one, and all of a sudden, you have enough for another fucking bone meal. Whoa. Wow. Another bone meal, and then some. This man, he snorted at me. It made me feel very uncomfortable. another one. Thank you. <laughs> I did kind of want to incorporate the uh, the nether wart blocks into the decoration of this, but then I was like, no, I'll get lost. I will absolutely like forget and I will get lost and I will not be able to find this place because it looks too much like the surrounding flora. Make your mob sounds by accident, bro. I can do this shit in my sleep. I wonder how long it is before, like, they start, like, oh, the YouTuber mob, where it's like, oh, we had, you know how, like, Pro ZD was the fucking voice of, uh, Flack in Borderlands 3. I mean, he's, a, he's like a professional voice actor. But like, when are we going to get like... Uh, we got Mr. Beast, the voice, the new... <laughs> desert fucking crow in Minecraft. Or Tom Kenny, the voice of SpongeBob, voices the new 
fucking, I don't know. Honestly, I've always been really interested in how Minecraft mob sounds are made because it's always an interesting story. Hi. What's up? Don't mind me, just almost dead. I'll be on my way. <laughs> Professional voice actor. Do you think this is what Ted Kaczynski was talking about? People on their fucking phones. Voice acting. see here. How are we going to do this? Um, actually, you know what makes more sense? Instead of just having it right here, what we could do is to get slightly down. Actually, we should do it two. Two at a time, yeah. So that it's half slabs and not stairs. Just slightly down. And we can make it four high. really grow in like the random tick but that was there that's annoying all right and then let's take all these chests another rack in here for now. Let's make, I guess, seven more chests. And then let's start keeping, like, gravel... Black stone, nether bricks, you know, all the different shit that they can drop in here. Fire charge, string. Uh, what else do they drop? Obsidian. We'll probably do obsidian and crying obsidian in the same chest. Because of how rare it is. Soul sand. And then eventually we're just gonna have a fucking chest full of spectral arrows for no fucking reason. Let's make one more double chest then.
forgot. Double chest is four logs, not two. Math is hard. All right. And then what I'm thinking, doing something like this, similar to what I have going on in uh, in the yeasty world, where there's a lot of like stilts. Ideally, I guess we would take that each. Hail the H cabin. That's where I keep all my preparation H. And seeing as there's not much room in here, I guess I could put this in the ground. Just to make it symmetrical, let's make another one. double doors. No one's ever going to see that, but I like being thorough. Still touch some of these. Uh, 
thought I heard someone pull back their crossbow and I was like, I'm gonna get attacked. Ooh. Oh, hey. Welcome. I guess he will be our first test subject to see if the LOS check works. Seems like it works. All right, cool. All right, now let's let's use these shroom lights. Oops. That looks kind of dumb. Are you trying to hit me? Oh, they're scared of the zombie piglin. Right. Forgot about that. And the zombie pigmens are just like totally indifferent towards them. He can't pick that up. Oh, it works. Let's make one last chest just for personal effects. Such as netherrack and nether warp blocks and other such useless items. Oh yeah, they also drop leather. Forgot about that. Let's put that in there. Actually, no, here. Uh, yeah, put that in there. Are you aggroed? No? Okay. Let's try to lead as many of those guys into there as we can. Just... Ah, shit. Don't do it. They're going to make us fuck. Like I've seen their ways before. These people are villainous, villainous monsters. Oops. All right, now I can just chill out. Oh. I mean, this doesn't really do much for our XP problem, but... It gets something done. Something off the checklist, you know?
It's a decent way to get obsidian. And it's just about the only way to get crying obsidian, so... Alright. Thank you for your participation in my bullshit. I look forward to your continued support. Here, let's actually take all of this, since these make for good items. Where did I put the black stone? There it is. We did not get a single soul speed book or boots. I think the best uh, boots you can get for or from the piglins is iron boots. Go away. There. Let's do this. Just so we have a relatively safe way through. Is there any way I can mark this up? Oh, torches. There, perfect. And then it's just directly visible. That's pretty ideal. Not perfect, but relatively ideal. Alright. Fucking shove that shit in there. That should get us a very decent amount of stuff. Alright, yeah, it seems like these, these boys here have not grown up at all. Which means they do have to be loaded. Or at least the world has to be loaded. Mm, maybe not ideal, but whatever. Oh, wrong thing. We got sticks, we got buckets. I missed a bucket. And one dirt. Somehow. Those guys are hitting their job site blocks. Nice. Oh, is that a coal? So is that. Poggers, we hit level 5, gamers. We did it. Uh, we should put some random job site blocks in the... village. Maybe not random job site blocks, but just some job site blocks in the village. Uh, let's see here. Let me actually look up the tutorial for... Or not the tutorial, the Minecraft wiki. For... What is it called? Villager Professions. Why is it not auto-filling? Village. 
villager. There we go. Uh, behavior. Professions. There it is. God, the old layout for this was so much better. Here's the thing. All right. If you design a website... No. If you design anything that will be actively updated, this is going to Steam, this is going to whoever runs the Minecraft wiki, you need, you need, you absolutely need the option to go back to the old design. Steam doesn't have this. Fucking Reddit does have it. YouTube doesn't have it. Like, what you can do, you don't even need to support it anymore. Like, properly. Listen, people will fucking make plugins or they'll make something to make it work. But, like, Jesus Christ, I just want my old Steam back. I just want my old Steam library. I just want... Uh... All right, job site blocks. Let's see here. Bedrock edition. I want the Java edition. So there's the armorer, the butcher, the cleric, the farmer. Uh do, do, do. Fisherman. Fisherman might be nice because we can trade string or coal in the first tier for emeralds. It's also the leather worker. Which trades six leather for one emerald. Yeah, we have two extra cauldrons. Let's just fucking go throw those back in the village. Who the fuck? Where'd you come from? Where did you come from? Here? Here? Somehow I doubt that. Anyway, let's just go fucking throw these cauldrons around. And then we'll trade leather, I guess. Leather. Hey, buddy, I think you got the little... <laughs> Hey, buddy, I think you got the wrong door. Leather Club's two blocks down. Fuck you. Ain't no fuck you, Leather Man. I think they go there normally. be nice if all of the job site blocks had proper like mechanics to them beyond like some of them are literally just for the sake of giving a villager a profession which you know it's like it's okay it that is a mechanic that is something that it does 
but it would be cool if it could do something else, you know? Like, if the Fletcher's table had something to it, like, oh, you can make upgraded arrows, like, you can make steel-tipped arrows, or whatever. But that might need some uh, reworking of balance and stuff. Let's see if any of the villagers take the bait here and... Bro, this dude... This dude hurting. For a squirting. I dig. I think there's another brewing stand in this village somewhere, but... Just none of the villagers can reach it. Yeah. <laughs> there. Let's just, like, put this out in the open somewhere. Like, ah. Oh, no, I dropped my brewing stand. Whatever will I do? These guys are doing their morning thing. The farmers are giving the people the stuff. You're a mason. You're a mason. <laughs> oh. Yeah, me too, thanks. Mason! Sean! Mason? Oh yeah, we need to... If we ever want stuff, we might want to grab some of this sea grass. So that we can feed it to turtles. Get some scoot. You know, you could probably make an EXP farm out of just the cave spider spawners. The issue with that would be Pepsi, spicy, like a hot. Uh, the issue with that would be. Fucking the fact that it would need to be a half slab of space and you would need to be from up top. Right? Or at least you would need to be even with the cave spiders in order to get uh what is it called? Sweeping edge. Also, you couldn't do it with, uh, at least I don't think you would be able to really do it with, you know, one hit with the fist. You would have to do it with, uh, fucking some other thing. Magenta terracotta. That looks cool. Oh, this poor man. Uh, let's get this guy out of here. Yeah, come on. I'll fill up the hole after you're out. Don't worry. Little did he know. that I planned to use that hole to trap several children. <laughs> I 
no particular reason. I just thought it would be funny to watch them starve and die. <laughs> ah, fuck. Okay, entity cramming. It's happening. Alright. Oh god. They can get out like that. It's crazy. Alright, so now here's why we stockpile the eggs. Now we have chickens. Hey, you you take uh, chicken meat? No? Okay. Oh. Are these guys grown up? It's really hard to tell. I got some stuff for you. I was like what? I was like, mm, good meat. Yes. All right, let's shear these guys once more. Then give them the old one-two. I need to get looting on this sword. Eventually. God, it's so hard to find, like, an angle where I can hit very specific hitboxes. I'm, like, mashing right-click right now. How much? 40. Nice. That is an amount of XP. not really a lot. Well, after we make our full set of diamond armor, I'd say it's probably about time we get to exploring. Exploring the world. As it is. You know, there's a great open world out there with plenty of things to find. Treasures await in the depths of these undiscovered lands or something. I don't know. I just want to, like, actually be a war criminal.
pretty much my main goal in Minecraft is just war crimes. I, I think that's actually the tagline of the game. Is just just war crimes. Right? It's like like when you log into the game, sometimes the splash screen just says war crimes. <laughs> Yeah. All right. That is all for the single player game for today. I am going to be right back. I'm going to go use the restroom. Uh, grab some water. You know, the usual. Oops. That was weird. That is not, no. Also not that one. Where's my BRB? There it is. No. There we go. This one goes down. This one. This one goes. Why did everything get like fucked up? This one goes there. This one goes there. This one goes even further down. There we go. This one goes there. All right, there we go. <laughs>